Hello, I'm Carl at Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're going to tie the Warden's Worry. Fabled streamer here in Maine, invented by Maine game warden Joseph Stickney in the late 1920s or the early 1930s. A favorite for trout and landlocked salmon. It's suggested to tie it in sizes 4 through 12. Here's our fly in the vise. The hook we're going to use today is a Daiichi 2220. This is in a size 6, and our thread is Danville's Flymaster 6 aught in black. Start our thread about an eye length and a half behind the hook eye. We're going to wrap back to the point of the hook. We'll tie our first material in here, which is just going to be a tag. And that's Uni Mylar in size 14, color is silver gold. And we want to tie this in so that the gold side shows. And then we'll tie it in with the silver side out. And when we wrap back, it will flip over to the gold. And we'll take four, maybe five turns. And then wrap back forward again. Capture our material, tie it off. Rid of our excess. And next we're going to tie in our tail. That's just going to be some hairline strung Chinese saddle hackle. The color's red and I've got a feather pulled out here and we'll pull the fibers out perpendicular to the rachis. Pull that off. And we'll measure that out to be about maybe a hook gap and a half in length. Tie that in right on top of the hook. That looks good. Wrap our thread forward to our initial tie-in point, and we're going to tie in our rib. And that's some Vivas French tinsel. It's oval tinsel. The size is medium, and I've got a piece cut off right here. Bring that over and tie it into the far side of the hook. Get in our material clip out of the way. The body of the fly is uh, chenille. This is Hairline's Fine Yellow, and we'll prepare that by pulling a little bit of the material off of the core. Gives us a tie-in point. Tie that in right at the base of the tail. Wrap forward to our initial tie-in point. Do a quick whip finish, save and hold our work, so we can use the rotary function of the vise. And our cradle up in front. And we'll make one turn at the base of the tail, hang on to our tail so that we don't accidentally pull that around the hook. Three or four wraps forward, tight again. Another three or four turns, make sure it's tight. And stop at our tie in point. Capture our material. Get rid of our excess, and I'll tangle up here. Beam that up a bit. Now we'll bring our rib forward, open spiral turns. Adds a little sparkle to the fly. Also helps protect that chenille. Cut off our excess. Okay, the next material we're going to tie in is going to be for the throat. This is just a yellow hen saddle. This is from Whiting. Pick out an appropriate sized feather. And prepare it by getting rid of all of the fuzzy stuff we don't need. We're going to tie it in by the tip, so we're going to create a, a tie-in point. And 
tie that in good and tight so we don't pull it out. Got our trusty hackle pliers. I'm going to tie this in initially just like a hackle. Take about three turns should give us enough material to have a full throat. There we go. Tie that off. Wrap back on that just a little bit. And now we're going to wet the material and pull it down on either side of the hook. And then wrap over the top of it to hold it in place. And if you've got a few pieces that won't cooperate, we'll just get rid of those. There, you get a nice full throat. So the wing of the fly is going to be some bucktail. Uh, the actual recipe just calls for brown, but I like to use uh, white bucktail and take the brown off the back of the bucktail. Got a little more color variation than what you would find in just a flat brown dyed piece of fur. This is pretty sparse. You don't need a big clump. Rid of all the short fuzzy stuff. This in a stacker. I'm gonna add a little wopsy wax dubbing. Dubbing wax here. The material can be a little bit slippery and this will help hold it in place. We want the wing to be just past the tail of the fly. And we'll tie that in with some good tight turns. Bring forward to the eye. Cut off our excess material here. Jump our thread up to our eye and start wrapping back. Form a nice head. Once you've covered all the material and you're happy with the shape of the head, take out your whip finish tool. Four or five turned whip finish. Seat your knot. Cut your thread and a little head cement. There, our fly is finished. Please feel free to add comments at the bottom of the page and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to view all the new content here at Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again next time.